Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Way before Marian Anderson made history in 1964, singing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, New Hampshire's African American Nellie Brown Mitchell was making history in the 1800s as a soprano singer. Hi everyone, my name is Jerry Ann Bogus, and I'm the Executive Director of the Black Heritage Trail of New Hampshire. We're here today at the Pine Hill Cemetery in Dover to return her and her stories and her accomplishments to our collective memory. Out in the sun, you know For reasons that may be lost to history, Nellie Brown's Mitchell's gravesite marker does not have her name. And that's one of the things that we are here working on, is to return her to collective memory and to correct that omission. It's a new world and a bold world for me. Nellie Brown Mitchell was born in Dover about 1850, and she early showed a great talent for singing, was educated at singing schools in Dover, and then sent down to Boston to continue her education. She made her Carnegie Hall debut in 1874 and really had marked for her a great career as a soprano. But because of race, she would not be invited to sing with the great symphony orchestras, to tour Europe, or the other things that other sopranos might do in the late 1800s. But she was an entrepreneur. So she got positions uh, leading choirs at prominent churches in Boston and throughout eastern Massachusetts. And then she formed the Nellie Brown Mitchell Concert Singers that toured throughout the United States. She performed a gala concert here in 1886 in, in Dover. And through the 1880s and 1890s, she was famous not only for her concert singing and performing, but also for the music schools that she established, integrated musical schools here in New Hampshire and in Massachusetts. She sang at the funeral for William Lloyd Garrison, as her family was deeply involved in the movements and struggles for freedoms in the late 1800s. Famous in her day, when she died, her gravestone was left uninscribed. This is a really remarkable African-American family. Her husband, Charles, served in the Civil War in the 55th Massachusetts Regiment, but he lost a leg in a battle. And he became deeply involved in civic life in Massachusetts and in the struggle continuing for black freedom. He was one of the first three people of color elected to the Massachusetts legislature. And he went on to serve with distinction in public office in Massachusetts. Nellie's brother, Charles, made his fame in New Hampshire. He got a law degree. He became the first black justice of the peace in New Hampshire and was very prominent in anti-lynching efforts in the 1890s. This family deserves to be remembered. And let's hope that we can lift every voice and sing and hear Nellie Mitchell Brown once again. Because when you shine, you know how I feel. Sand of the pine, you know what I mean, oh, freedom is mine, and I know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new love for me, and I'm feeling good. We're working to get her name on her gravesite, and also to install a marker close in the cemetery that will tell her story and return her accomplishments to all of us, to New Hampshire's history, so we can honor her and celebrate her for her work 
and her time here.